Wha- uh, uh, I called it! Well, not really, but... <laughs> Joe and JP ran out of luck! <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So, following me not exactly calling that they would be leaving... That was an interesting episode. We had a couple of shakeups in the game, and we had a couple of interesting dynamics because um, Lauren and her new alliance with Ashley, Devin, and Ben, that's a pretty interesting group because like, you wouldn't have necessarily thought that they would have been together at the start of this merge necessarily, although Ben and Lauren kind of wanted to work together for a while, but then you see them changing the game up in various ways, you know, going against the, what they refer to as the minor or clueless people in their group, and using the enemies as a way against them, and then also using one of the members as a decoy to throw everything off the other scent? That's awesome! Although, um, as Devin and Lauren and Ashley kind of got later on, especially in the second half of this episode, it does put Ben in a little bit of a better light, and I didn't really think about that until I mentioned it, and then I'm like, hmm, interesting, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, he's gonna, like, pull it out, you know. You could definitely have ruffled people's feathers and then, um, turn out to be better, you know. Can't think of an example right off the top of my head, but... I don't think Ben has, like, a real lock on this game by any stretch of the imagination. With the right arguments, tons of people could go up and give him a run for his money. Like, I, right now, am seeing that there's a lot of potential for pretty much anybody on this beach now to give an argument to win the million, except for, like, Mike. Yeah. I think that guy's uh, running out of options here now, unless he can do something brainy like he's saying that he's been trying to but yeah he hasn't really been doing anything that much I and mean, I'm like sure they've been using him but I think he kind of would have ended up in this role anyway you know I mean like they said that they were going to be saving him to be about the last target in the he lows anyway so mm -hmm. okay and then as for those challenges, um, they were nice, but I can't talk about them that much, other than that I'm glad that they stopped, um, doing an endurance challenge for individual immunity, but also, I never really have one person that I'm, like, really hoping wins or doesn't win, because literally every reward challenge, I've been okay with, like, anybody winning, to be honest. So, yeah. Can't remember the last time I felt this way. Right. So then the move to get rid of JP, well, he is a physical threat, and it does put um, Ryan in hotter waters, or at least it seems to do, because, yeah, they did that to get rid of his idol, right? And honesty! I I've been saying this since worlds apart. It seems to actually be the way to go now. It's crazy, isn't it? Dalton Ross made that comment multiple times on the uh, uh, fan forum a bit where he was subbing for Andrea, even though I'm pretty sure, like with Andrea, he's a permanent panelist. Right. Okay, anything else to mention? Uh, ben finding an idol really wasn't a big deal because um, when those are free tribes, it does seem like they try to keep uh, two idols going for as long as possible. Sure, they didn't do that in Koran, but I think it was because of the uh, super idol uh, twist to that. So, I'm not crying like another Caramone situation here, because that was a true mess up, but I've said this line before. Anything else to mention? Oh, and a Chrissy pulling out that immunity. Nice, even though it was a bit of another case of, you know, someone who truly needs it, but at the same time, I was like... Some more rads on pulling out the immunity. Mmm. Pretty interesting there. And I really wish we had learned how long it took them to come up with um, invulnerable. I mean, like, sure, some people can just look at letters and just get it. Like, there's a show, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, which uh, UK people should know about instantly. But at the end of the show, they have a nine-letter 
world that they have to scramble, usually out of the spelling of two smaller words. One person uh, looked at the nine letter word and was able to realize that it was actually stopwatch in just like one second. Hmm? It can't happen. Um, so then, uh, them getting rid of Joe, well, they just decide that, you know, his luck had run out, and even though Joe has been more demanding outwardly, more people are familiar with that kind of gameplay now, because you had Russell, who did it wrongly, you had Tony, who did it a lot more right, you can argue that other people did that, but not necessarily in the same way, whereas for Mike, he is closer to just, uh, making a fool of himself, yeah, but... When Joe actually got voted out, I was like, hmm, alright. Because he had been in a bad position for the season and not causing too much to happen long enough, then I'm like, okay, because I'll defend what I said earlier, that I don't like the guy, but at the same time I don't really dislike him by any stretch of the imagination, and even Joe was like, alright, they got me. Time to move on. I really would not be too surprised if by the time that this season's over, most people will be able to move on past him. I think Alan might have ended up in that same role, but who knows? Maybe he would have, huh? Anything's possible. So, yeah, this was an interesting two-part. It was a little bit of a slog to get through, but a lot happened, and I'm really anxious to see what's going to be happening to this cast, especially since it looks like the... Bootings are going to be spaced out appropriately. Thank you. Enough of saving people to be booted. Boom, 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 boom till the end. Do that at the start of the merge or just before the merge. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. It's amazing how often producers make silly mistakes like this. Oh, and I'm going to echo what everybody was saying when this episode aired and bring back the rites of passage. Come on, Jeff. I still haven't forgiven you for that one. Oh, my God. Right. And no, the hat isn't back. I've just been doing a bunch of yard work today, so you don't want to see what my hair looks like. Ugh. <laughs>